Chat, here we go. It's Moxie versus Nuggets in a best of five 1v1. Nuggets going up against one of his tougher opponents that he's gone up in this run of series wins. Now, you might remember, he played against Abdullah, a top Mina player, who was able to get a game off of him, but that was it. A singular game. They actually ended up playing two best of fives back to back. Nugget lost one in the first best of five and then swept in the next best of five to make it a 6-1 run. A 6-1 run. So he got a little bit of revenge against the one player he hasn't swept recently in a 1v1. But Moxie's not going to be easy. But neither was Nas or Diaz. Nas and Diaz are not easy people to win against at all, let alone in a sweep. And Nugget managed to do it. So we'll see if he can do it again here against Moxie. He has himself up 1-0. Moxie coming off a win yesterday as he played to redeem his loss to Nush. And he was looking like his old self in terms of his ability to create a little bit of drama on the field as well as attacking mainly through the ground and consistently with his flicks. We'll see how he'll get to play today. Nugget has done a good job of absolutely refusing to let anybody play the kind of game they want to. He just immediately, sorry, he's getting over a bit of sickness, immediately cuts off every possession early. And that is going to work especially well against Moxie. We saw Nush trying to do that a little bit to varying success. But I think what Nugget does so well is he basically never leaves the play. Nush was kind of leaving the play for a moment and then trying to dive back in before Moxie got going. Nugget stays on ball at every moment of every second, it seems. And he may never allow Moxie to get those kind of ball carries that he needs to get going. And in fact, it's going to be Nugget who gets the first demo. Something that normally Moxie is getting lots more of in his matchups. As Nugget onto the bounce dribble, Moxie decides to back off. And Nugget is going to show his flicks as well. Moxie is not the only one who can show off with a bit of flicking. Nugget doesn't do it exactly the same way as Moxie does. But man, does he find a ton of power. And it's great placement. Top left. Up 3-0. With just a minute 30 in. Moxie, the resets, and lets the ball bounce. It's going to be very interesting if this match forces Moxie to play the aerial game and have Nugget be the primary ground 1v1. $100 donation from Vacanus. He wants it to be a best of seven. I will ask them at the next goal replay. Um, hopefully, they'll be down. I know Moxie said he'd play either way, so I guess it's up to Nugget. I don't know if he has time for a best of seven or what but we'll let him know a hundred dollar donation was made to try and get a couple more games as nuggets gonna pick up the back corner boost and we'll be able to get this long shot and we'll see oh mox is gonna lock in nugget says okay so it is now a hundred dollar best of seven let me update the header. Shout out Vacanus again for holding down the 1v1 scene, as he always does. Now, everybody who predicted needs to uh, realize that it was best of seven, which I know Moxie likes to make a big deal about his better chances in best of seven. I don't know how other players feel, but certainly at the start, Nuggets has been doing well. Nice to be nice. Thank you for the prime for 23 months. Two years incoming, man. Two years of priming is insane truly heavily committed to the full-time type beat with that many primes. Nuggets, I mean, he just did the moxie against moxie. A flick, a follow-up bump, and a goal. Saizen, by the way, in case you didn't know, you might have not noticed if you hadn't been watching closely. Saizen is in the lobby right now. I think he said he wanted to commentate on moxie's game. Moxie's live. Normally, we would not allow what is essentially a teammate of moxie's to be in the lobby. Um... But Moxie's live, so it's not like Sizen is reporting the boost amounts to Nuggets or anything uh, because we'd be able to hear all that. We'd be able to hear um, any sort of cheating they're doing. I think Sizen wants to commentate. I don't know if he's commentating in comms with Moxie. Moxie is certainly making it harder on himself than he needs to be. But he wanted to play this way, and what am I to say with Moxie and what he's given to the one scene? 
he can play his 1v1 however he wants. Now, I, there's some chats here. I gotta go back and check them. RLCS SSA didn't fill the fridge? Okay. <laughs> okay. It's, I think we're in for another toxic one. I think we're in for another toxic one. It seems like we're just about guaranteed when Moxie's in the lobby, but apparently Sizen is also gonna help makes it make it toxic as Nuggets is gonna make it 6-2. He's having no issues at all right now with Moxie. And he might, you know, be having his job made a little bit easier by Sizen. But we shall see. Can Moxie lock it in? Or is it going to be a quick 4-0 for Nugget the way he's been playing against this top tier competition? Moxie. Double jump bump. Nugget able to get around it. Chat begging me to close the prediction, I assume, because people are dumping a bit of points onto Nugget. I'll make sure to close that. So not too many people can use this game context to get a bit of an edge. Nuggets. Wow, how does he get supersonic? I swear. His car. He got a demo in one of his previous matches where it just thought no way was he actually supersonic and he caught it moments before getting the demo. Seems like he has another situation there where he's completely out of boost and just barely gets supersonic in what looked like was going to be a boost steal from Moxie. Now Moxie immediately flicking off the Nugget respawn. Nugget so good at staying on the ball so quick. Much faster than anybody seems to be ready for. And I mean, that was just a huge mistake from Moxie. He just gave a free goal. Nugget will take it. And he's got himself a 7-3 lead. Mashed wave dash kickoffs. Both turning back in on the ball. Nuggets is so quick with the dashes and manages to get a demo. He's done this so many times. And Moxie's ready to go next. Where Nugget... Make sure to use his little bit of boost alongside his dash to guarantee his win or his demo, which did guarantee his win this time. 8-3 in game number one. The $100 from Vacanus has given Moxie a few more lives, but Nugget will keep the streak going. Game number two. Moxie and Nuggets. A new game context here. Going into our new match context, I should say. Going into game number two. They know it's going to be a best of seven, and they know it's for $100. Will that change the way Moxie plays? Will he be able to lock it in? Nugget's going to get himself slammed off the nets as Moxie dashes to bump him. Yo, thank you for that eight months of Prime. Baby Fear College Fund. Appreciate that. I'll definitely take it straight from Twitch and put it into the College Fund. I promise. Moxie trying to greet out of possession. Cut that ball close towards Nets. Couldn't do so. Interesting save. Moxie actually staying in control of this. Even off the bump, that would have been a nice finish. But ultimately, the final shot is weak. And he's starting to recognize he needs to turn on ball at every moment he can in order to keep Nuggets from creating opportunities out of very slim amounts of space. Yo, Angel Vega, I think about the 10 more dollars, presumably to add 10 more to the prize pool. Nuggets, that flick, leaving a bit on the table. Moxie, what a counterattack! It's actually slightly wide. And Nuggets tried to be patient and stay grounded. See if he could get away with letting this ball bounce off the wall. But Moxie double jumps and puts it right back top shelf. He's going to spend it on show matches probably. Old Fear would never do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Only Ray is around. Only Ray knows. Every single cent, whether that was Primes, subscriptions, YouTube, all of it back in the day. Did not go to things like Baby College Fund. It all went back to matches, tournaments. Only in the last two years. 
have I started taking some money so that I could potentially do it full time? Saving for things like the baby college fund. Oh, nuggets. Nuggets! Dropping the calculator. He wants to be the first to quick chat that one. Does not let Moxie get talking here. Moxie and I think Saizen both want to watch that again, though. I am not responsible of all of Saizen's interventions. Well, you are, right? <laughs> At some level, you are because he's here because he wanted him to be in the lobby with you. Nugget, gonna get a second goal. Baby Fear class of 2042? Is that right? I've never really thought about it. Yeah, I think it probably is. Maybe it's 2041. No, I think it's 2042. I think you're right. Moxie backing off. Nugget trying to save his 34 boost to be used later. Instead, chain some dashes together on the wall to gain speed for now. And doing so probably leaves him with a little bit left over in order to make that clear that he otherwise wouldn't have been able to. Nugget, I think it's in and out of the net to stop Moxie from dishing it in off the back wall. Moxie continues the attack. Air dribble bump. It's an air dribble demo. 4-2 in favor of Moxie. The light kickoff from Moxie. Something that Nush was doing a lot of yesterday to a good amount of success. Maybe Moxie remembering that he can mix it up if he's having trouble. He's going to go another eligible bump and he says that gets me one step closer to being $120 richer so I don't mind. Plus Nugget needs to stop giving the space something that he doesn't normally do. But if he's going to back it up like this go straight to the net Moxie is going to double jump and bump him in there. Who won yesterday, Nush or Moxie? See, my stream is like a TV show where you can't miss a single episode. Everybody knows that if you miss an episode, you just have to go back and watch that one before you can watch the next one, right chat? Not a single one of the chatters here have missed an episode. Nugget down big though. Six two ever since the prize has been introduced. Which means it's very likely that Nugget is gonna get another game lost here, handed to him by Moxie. Taking his record down to something like 16 and or 17 and 1. Or 17 and 2, I should say, after this loss in his past 19 games. That is if he is not able to bring this one back, which he does seem to be trying his best to do so. Bit of an all-in type 50 when he was not in a position to win said 50 and Moxie we get a low boost counterattack. Why is Moxie much worse in twos than ones? Because so many pros say ones is the best way to get good at the game. Um, for, for some people ones is the best way and, and for a lot of people ones is the best way because they don't really play it as much. Um, and they need to accent it with their other sorts of training. Nuggets on the air dribble reset. Gonna get denied. I think if there's anybody who's an example of like how you could maybe overplay ones in terms of your general full Rocket League ability, Moxie could be that player. Nice play. But he definitely still has aerial plays. As he takes this one to the ceiling. Gets the ceiling reset and the wave dash landing to slide at bottom right. Oh my goodness, Moxie just read the fake kickoff and actually backflipped so he didn't even commit on the shot and put it top right. Nugget just, I mean, I shouldn't say it's a fake kickoff. He, he didn't really try and fake anything. He just waited there trying to mix it up. You say go next and fear don't react? Oh, 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 I didn't see it. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Okay. Sorry, chat was distracting me with their big 
American flag. My bad. Wait, spectator, they can't read that. <laughs> one minute ad, chat, one minute ad. I was looking at the big American flag and the 30 bits that Mocha used to make the American flag so big. I appreciate the 30 bits, I guess. Sleazebreeze also says for 17 months he gets a tier 1 he says watching Fierce channel is the best way to improve at the game. I mean watching top level gameplay is also important. They can go. I, I, meant, I meant to say they could start when the timer goes up. Game number 3. Moxie dominated in game number 2. Both of them have actually forfeited early. And not stuck it out for the game, so they lost. Moxie wants a pogo. Did not get the kind of power he would need to convert on that. And I'm not sure that was a good enough touch to the side to actually stop Nugget from being able to counter. Moxie just barely got a save, but then he put himself in a position to get demoed. Although, I mean, he might have been able to dodge that. He went really high. Nugget still found it. Moxie trying to play keep away. Nugget just being a little pest, what he does best. Making sure to force Moxie to land on him. What a save from Nuggets on zero boost now, though. It cost him absolutely everything to make that one. And turns out it's only going to buy him just a few more moments. As Moxie turns back on the play and gets his goal. Moxie trying to take another possession back into his half. Bit dangerous. Brought the ball all the way to the goal line, but he actually baited Nugget in. He got Nugget to think for a second about trying to go for a backflip challenge. He's like, wait, that ball's about to roll right in front of the net, but that was a mistake. Moxie was still in control. Faking like he's going for the ball in the midfield off the kickoff. Ultimately leaving the play. Nugget trying to score on zero. Very close to doing so. Moxie took the risk that he'd be able to grab boost and get back. Now Nugget needs to somehow evade the demo, which he does. Uses a little wall dash and gets a long shot. Nugget is so quick on the walls. You almost have to keep him off the walls because of what he's able to do there. Moxie jumps off. I should have watched Nugget again. I, I thought it was going to be... Since they slow mode the touch, it made it seem not as fast, but... Nugget just chaining some dashes into the long shot to tie up the game. Moxie. Tough angle to flick from. Trying to find that top left. Couldn't do so. Nugget. Going to bounce this one high. Thought about the demo and then decided he maybe got Moxie to back off enough just by, you know, threatening it for a second. Maybe he could turn and dish it in, but Moxie made it back. So these guys teetering on the edge of all these different options. Moxie coming out the better of it, though. Credit to him for not getting beat any which way. Moxie now big cut in front of the net. Nuggets dashing as he falls off the back wall into the challenge gonna place this top shelf moxie has the save are we in store for some close games here from here on out nuggets just 50 to directly into his net moxie comes all the way into the corner which a lot of players are scared of doing at times but he got there so early and was prepared for the chip shot barely even consider it a 50 he just Red Nuggets touch and guided it into the net. 3-2 lead. A big win for Moxie. Ooh, a missed dash. If Nugget had known he was going to miss that dash from the beginning, he probably could have turned and scored on him knowing Nugget. But hard to predict that. Nugget is going to not score here. No punishments on two different Moxie mistakes. The second one 
was much easier to score on, but Nugget wasn't able to. Now Moxie is going to demo Nugget and get this ball on top of his car for his perfect carry. He wants another double jump bump, and you'll get it. 4-2. With two minutes left to go, Moxie has the edge. And you cannot let Moxie see two digits on the time left with the lead. He is just too good at locking it in with about a minute left to go. Got to fight your way back so he can't play his time-wasting game. Nuggets taking this into his back corner. Moxie closes the distance. Something that Nugget was not expecting him to do because he figured he could win a favorable 50, but Moxie is doing a great job of diving in and recovering back to plays. Not allowing Nugget to ever have the edge, and he is just loving this double jump up right now, and why not? Nugget needs to be a bit more aggressive, and it's actually something that I feel like we're used to seeing from him, but all of a sudden, he is letting Moxie get these possessions going. And every time, Moxie's going for a 1v1 classic in the double jump bump or the air dribble bump. Now he's going to do it again. <laughs> he's trying to tilt Nugget, but it doesn't go all the way in. Nugget manages to send it into the crossbar. But I talked about it before. Nugget needed to close the distance before that minute mark. Well, the minute mark is here, and Moxie is in the lead. So he's very likely going to be able to hold on to this game win as he air rolls to finish that one. Nuggets. This is what he does best. Escaping out of his own half at lightning speed and being able to capitalize on you diving in too deep. He needs to not give Moxie a single possession probably. With 53 seconds left to go, he has to control the ball every time off kickoff. And if he does, he stands a chance. I think as soon as Moxie gets clean control of the ball, it is over. But Nuggets in good shape right now. Not going all in on that shot. Knows it would be a mistake, but apparently it's a mistake not to either way. I think if he dove, he loses the 50. Moxie recovers with quicker, with more boost, probably still gets this goal. So instead, Nugget decided to wait it out and also got punished for that. So game number three, going to Moxie. Nugget kept it close for a bit, but Moxie has seemingly followed up on his promise to lock in and take the series over after the prize pool was donated. And He'll be up 2-1 in the best of seven. Going to style for us here at the end. 15 seconds left to go. Yeah, he's going to style. <laughs> for him, styling is air dribble bump. And that's exactly what he does. The game already secured. What does he have for us? More mental edge earned. He wants to make sure that Nugget knows you're never saving these air dribble bumps. I'll do them a million times if I have to. Bro, you're watching his stream. He isn't at all locking in. Yeah, but I mean, locking in, a lot of people don't lock in the way that uh, you might perceive, like, you know, grimacing and not listening to anyone and leaning forward. Sometimes having somebody, I assume, joke around with you, which I'm, I'm guessing Sizen is, maybe he's just full on commentating the game, um, can be helpful while still, you know, cleaning up the gameplay. I know I've talked about it before, but there's lots of other ones players who want to have somebody in comms with them that they can kind of chat and really stress with while playing. And that is their version of locking in. Game four. Can Nuggets come back from a couple games that have been heavily in Moxie's favor? Moxie going to start by soaring to the ceiling. Nugget has decided to no longer wait on the goal line and get bumped, which I think is a good decision. This one did not work out at the start. Moxie gets a perfect 50 that actually gets him a reset. He uses that flip in order to double it on the bounce. 
But this is the start of Nugget switching up the way he defends. Which is probably a good idea. As he will now win a kickoff of his own. And gonna try and win a 50 with Moxie in the air. Who steal another reset? The ground game has actually favored Nugget so far. Or at least it did early. I mean, it's really just the irritable bump game that's got Moxie so far ahead. Nugget has also not really been able to extend his possessions at zero boost like he likes to. Normally he can just stay outside the nets of his opponents and manage to get good touch after good touch before eventually scoring. Moxie has sped up and <laughs> has not allowed possessions to go on for very long, forcing Nugget back and then Moxie this time even said he's going to bump. He goes for the double jump bump. He quick chatted it on his way up and he still got his goal. Nugget's pre-flipping into a first touch, steals the corner boost. Now has Moxie diving across the nets and didn't get the touch he needed. He needed one that was slightly more towards the net and not out into the midfield. If so, he could have gotten around the ball and maybe scored. But fortunately for Nugget, Moxie makes his first mistake on the bump play and allows Nugget a freebie. Nugget did not have to jump because clearly Moxie's shot was not headed in. Wave dash kickoff for Moxie. Nugget likes to stay on the ball, but he is again going to decide to leave. You better believe Moxie's going to double jump bump him. <laughs> but this time, Nugget makes the save and gets it off the post. Great recovery from Moxie to get back for a 50. And now Nuggets, who just lobbed the ball up into a bit of a dangerous spot, is trying to decide what to do with it. He does manage to get boost and get at least a decent enough 50 to maybe keep possession here. As he resets in the back corner again. Moxie on ball and he dashes over the top of him to roll it in on an open net. Right now this is where Nuggets has actually had the most success it seems like. At least in the last couple games. He's only ever scoring when he's able to beat Moxie out of defense. Moxie's just going to get a straight kickoff goal here. And that could also be a mix-up from Moxie. He's trying to make sure he's involved in the play at all times. Moxie not going midfield boost on this kickoff after Nugget takes it into the corner. He's following him there. And now he's in potential big trouble. But actually, Nugget, who always seems to be able to take every possession and turn it into a lightning quick counterattack, actually did not have a setup off the side wall this time and allowed Moxie to turn back in, dunk him, and Moxie found a pretty tough angle here. A couple good two touches in a row to put that ball in a position where he could get the dish and finish it off top right. Two goal lead, he's pulled away in all of these games so far. Or I shouldn't say all of them, he did lose game one, but the past three, getting his lead early and holding onto it Oh, the hook shots. It's a screamer, and it's not an air dribble bump, most notably. Nuggets, who is maybe getting used to these air dribble bump setups. Not quite ready for the 110 kilometer per hour hook shot. Nuggets has himself a decent possession, one that he's going to have to start converting if he wants to win in a match against Moxie. Moxie, great save as Nugget chipped it high near post in order to force Moxie into what should have been an awkward save, but he got a pretty decent one. Popping it off the crossbar, and he reset in the corner, and Nugget did well to fake that high, force Moxie to instead transition back down low, and he couldn't get the stop off the ground. See midfield boost steal. Going to try and squaff it immediately. Credit to Nugget for the pre-flip. 
Cutting it off at the earliest angle. Moxie recognizes that the demo is coming. And now will not just take the ball to Nugget for free. He wants to double jump bump him. Surely, <laughs> surely he wants to double jump bump him. Which is exactly what he tries, but it just really wasn't the position you could actually do that. I still could tell that's what he's wanted to do. Find a way to chip the ball and bump. Nugget gets around it. This could be a huge game win for Nugget. Tying up the series 2-2. If you were able to do that when momentum seems like it's so heavily in favor of Moxie right now. It is a whole different world. Although losing is not the end of the series necessarily. It is a best of seven. Nugget. Going to equalize for the first time in a while deep into the game. As Moxie cannot react to the bounce dribble. Wave dash kickoff, Nugget's gonna get midfield boost. Chain some dashes together, including a wave dash as he gets to the ball. Took a trip to the midfield, and now both of them are thinking about the demo, whether it's them trying to demo each other or dodge each other's demos. Ultimately, Moxie does back off. Nugget, he was forcing out this strong first touch, one that he was hoping to be able to turn around and then collect the ball with. Ah, so deep. He just went a little bit too deep. Credit to Moxie for, you know, doing a decent enough job to get power, but you just can't fake that deep. When the ball is that high, if it's lower, you can go in that deep because you can potentially just jump and challenge the ball if they let you get that close. But with the ball as high as it was, there's no reason to move all the way underneath it. I'll get wave dash pop again, trying to put Moxie in a tough position top right, but the follow-up wasn't there, and that's going to goal for Moxie. Got to be a goal for Moxie. These are huge moments that Nuggets has no longer been able to get past Moxie's defense. Nugget searching for perfection because it's kind of what Moxie has necessitated out of him. As he will take this one up into the air, gets a reset. Seems to be trying to flow a bit more, play a little bit looser because I haven't really seen him go for anything like that in a few games. But the finish just wasn't there. Moxie has the save and the tap over the top. That one should be on target. And Moxie is eventually able to get his separation. Nugget going to need three quick kickoffs. First one is into his half. Moxie makes sure to not allow him to get a touch. And then chases him off the ball to collect the possession. There's the demo, the pinch off the corner to get it in front of the net as soon as possible, but it didn't work out that way. Too slow of a roll. Three games in a row for Moxie after Nugget opened up the series with a win. One more goal for Nugget, but that's not going to be enough. Gonna need to find a way to get an early lead, I imagine, as the series continues on for $120. Game five. Moxie and Nuggets. Can Nuggets bounce back from what is heavy momentum in Moxie's favor? It doesn't seem like it's going to start here early. Everything seems to be bouncing Moxie's way, even when he doesn't connect on his first attempts. He gets the follow-ups. The perfect bounce off the post and back into his control. And it's a 1-0 lead. Nuggets. Down too early. This is the opposite of what I felt like he needed, but he just went flying past this ball. I looked at chat for a moment, and I was wondering why that happened. I don't know if he was trying to fake it, or he just missed, or... Nuggets. Could this be the beginning of something? It's nice to get a direct kickoff goal. Reminds you that your opponent 
is beatable, has weaknesses. In theory, you could do that 10 times and win the game. Nugget, he wants to give Moxie a taste of his own medicine, but Moxie goes underneath it. Nugget started his dribble so early. Moxie boomed that to the back wall. So did not get his goal, and that was rushed, forced maybe by Nugget, and how quickly he recovered onto the play. If we watch it from Moxie's POV, uh, he, just, he just went way too deep underneath the ball. He needed to be touching it towards net. Just didn't read correctly. We have ourselves a tie game. Nugget, is he going to get a lead? He is. The kickoff goal makes it 3-2. A much-needed lead for the Englishman. Or he's got he's got three nationalities, I think, on Wikipedia. But I believe he has chosen to represent England. And I believe that's where he's from. Or at least he's living there. Moxie not going to be able to stop the kickoff possession barrage from Nuggets as he wins another one. Heavy touch into the corner and is still first to the boost. Often you have to pick between control of the ball or control of the boost. And if you're able to win both like Nugget just did, you often find yourself scoring shortly after. Now here he elects to control ball over boost, allows Moxie to get that back corner. And this is something that Nugget pretty much always does and has showed how effective it can be against many top opponents where he just chases the ball down using dashing and everything he can to stay on it whether he has boost or not. Shows how often he can create opportunities. Hasn't really worked out that way against Moxie so far. Even here, he wasn't able to score off of that dive into the attacking corner. Chaining a couple wall dashes to try and surprise Moxie. It does not work. Moxie just sends the ball into the ceiling. It has orange trail. He knew that there was going to be a touch from Nuggets. But he saved everything to be able to get back to the ball afterwards. Nuggets. First touch reset as he notices he got Moxie to back off and Nugget can't really get away with having those weak flicks anymore. We know he's capable of some screamer flicks and that's what he's probably going to need. He gets away with it this time. Moxie's been too good defensively. He's been able to end possessions on any poor shot. But bad read from Moxie as he looks to challenge on the wall. Nuggets attempting to get both boost and ball again off kickoff. He uses it for a demo and pounds in the one-time shot to make it 6-3. Nugget with his back against the wall has found a little bit of momentum for the first time in many games. And this is the kind of game that Nugget likes to play normally. In his previous matchups, he'd find himself in 12-10 type games, 13-9, just incredibly high scoring, tons of kickoffs, everybody diving on the ball, making mistakes, leaving open nets, but Nugget wins that kind of game. He likes it when everyone's trying to go past their limits. He feels a bit faster, but Moxie, if there's anybody who knows how to slow the game down and just go for double jump bump after double jump bump, it's him. He'll do it. Boxy wanted the power slide cut. He absolutely just teed it up for Nugget. He was hoping to catch Nugget heading into the corner, but Nugget doesn't care. He's not trying to really reset on boost. He picks up a couple pads. He's ready to play defense right away. So with Moxie chipping it up, he's there to take his open net. Wave dash kickoff win. 
Nuggets. Hovering around Moxie. They force him to get rid of the ball. And Moxie's the, just as much of a pest as Nugget is. Nugget's trying to get this really close quarters. Wave dash, turnaround, long shot. Moxie will make sure to bump him out of the play and make sure that doesn't happen. Nugget taking this to the side wall. This is a rare setup from him. He fakes the air dribble, gets Moxie into the air, onto the ceiling, but does not really speed up his following ground play in a way that capitalizes on getting Moxie out of position. Instead of quickly getting down to the ground and then trying to force Moxie to play from a spot that he would rather not, he just kind of takes it slow, allows Moxie to fully reset Nothing gained from the initial fake, and then Moxie challenges to take it away, so. 7-6. Nuggets just throwing the ball at the net at the start of this kickoff. And he needs to turn in challenge, if you ask me. He's had such a tough time, but this time Moxie not able to set up the double jump bump. And Nugget does deny the flick. Moxie, big challenge at the midfield. Nugget tried to power slide cut around him. A little wave dash to go around to the other side. Moxie is just frozen here in the center of the field, but he has managed to stop Nugget so far. Can he stop him completely? No. Nugget does eventually find his goal. Moxie was doing his best not to get his axles broken, but he's the one who sets up the play for Nugget. As he backflips to roll the ball up. And allow the two-goal lead with a minute left to go. Now, can Nuggets hold on to possessions and hold on to leads as effectively as Moxie does in these late-game situations? Nugget, that 50, he got undercut. Moxie going to bring it within one. The stream has fully effed. I'm actually glad we reset, though, so that we can know it wasn't because of those PC issues, it's probably just internet issues. Of course, we hope the internet will be back. 51 seconds left to go. Nuggets staying aggressive. Moxie able to make that save as he puts it off the top right corner. Nuggets, he's never gonna back down. And finally, when Moxie feels like he needs to bring up the pace, find some way to get a possession because he needs goals, Nugget can punish. But when Moxie gets to be in control, gets to feel like there's no time pressure on him at all, he's just so good at slowing the play down, getting it to be played the way he wants, and securing his win. 23 seconds. I'll tell you what, in games in which somebody scores 10 nugget might be undefeated i mean obviously he's just been undefeated a bunch recently but for some reason when it gets really high scoring like this maybe a better way to put it is like 15 goals scored or you know i have to go back and see for sure but when it when a ton of goals are in the net nugget comes out ahead and that's what happened here in game number five game number six Will we see a Game 7? Can Nuggets keep his series win streak going with a little bit of prize on the line? And a player that is known for grinding out these one series. Moxie will again score first. And this time, it's Nugget not being able to do his signature plays. Those zero boost attacks around Moxie's net. Moxie has managed to do what you'd expect most players to do. You know, a lot of, everybody gets frustrated because Nugget seems to go way too crazy on the ball. And it feels like you should be able to just do what Moxie just did. Counterattack, punish, teach him a lesson, have him back off and give you a little bit of space. But what Nugget has done 
for five matches in a row is just show that he's quick enough to get away with it. Moxie trying to prove that not to be the case. Big 50 win to get an early two goal lead. All your ads are in Spanish. Do you not watch any Spanish? You must have watched a Spanish streamer or something. Maybe a big event. Moxie. Give it a freebie to Nugget. As he goes for a reset on the ball. On this air dribble. And it's nowhere near protecting it. Nugget denied his midfield boost. He will give space. Previously, this is air dribble bumps from Moxie every time. And Nugget finally gets a save. And why he hasn't reacted even earlier before this, I'm not sure. He did pre-jump it slightly to go over the top. You'll see a lot of defenders kind of pre-jumping those early. Sometimes pre-jumping them even before they start in order to get up and say, Hey, look, you can't bump me. Because if you try, I'll just keep going higher. I'll prevent you from ever really being able to get underneath the ball because if you attack from above it it can be a bit easier so that's how lots of players will defend it Nugget has just been waiting on the ground until maybe this one this was probably the first time he's really tried to jump at least in sync with Moxie instead of after that allowed him to get the save and just barely able to redirect this kickoff goal because it seemed like Moxie had won another one and he will win it now Moxie getting pushed back off the kickoff. Here is again. Classic Nugget gameplay. Zero boost. Did not win the ball. It's just going to try and stay on it in the attacking corner. Does get forced to back off. Will we see another double jump bump? This time it's going to be a flick. And this is where Moxie has made his bread and butter. Those flicks to the top left, although that isn't quite a classic Moxie flick. Why the annoying boost sound? I, I gotta be honest. Maybe the first time ever he played in a match or something, I, it was noticeable. I do not notice it anymore. Nuggets. Dribble from the back corner, has a reset. Flips low, that is how all of his aerials have been ending. The aerial game has to finish top shelf if you want to punish defenders. If you allow them to stay grounded to make saves, not only do they make the saves, but they get quick counterattacks as well. Huge double jump bump. Moxie is dropping the quick chats in the air before he actually connects on them. Nugget missed the wave dash, and that was probably around the time that he needed to be jumping. Again, he jumps after Moxie. He's going to have a really tough time making saves. Jumping so long after Moxie starts the dribble. Down 5 2. Nuggets denied an opportunity. And making it a two goal deficit. Moxie pulls off this air dribble in 50s. He has converted on every single one of these games. He's just too good at holding on to his lead once he has it. And it's now four goals with two minutes. Nuggets way back though, I would say, is kickoffs. What Moxie needs to do is limit these kickoff goals and get himself a possession and he's proven he can waste probably two full minutes with a three goal lead. And this kickoff was probably good enough. Nugget on 23 boost. Does manage to play a bit of keep away with Moxie. And now no choice but to try and greet out this possession even longer. Gets the 50, has to go up over the ball and it's just plays from on top of the ball in order to make sure Moxie doesn't get the shot. But went flipping past the play so that should be a freebie for Moxie and it is. 
I'll get telegraphing the wave dash into challenge. And it's not a super fast play at that. Moxie able to beat him there. I get prevented long shot from Moxie. But that kind of setup is just something that is not working. I don't know if he was able to kind of score those in his previous matchups after putting the ball on target. Just felt good about winning in the chaos that follows, but that just hasn't been working at all against Moxie. If you give him the ball any sort of easy shot to deal with, he ends your possession. Nuggets had more success playing out of defense. He's going to get that long shot goal just past the midfield line. Nobody home after beating Moxie around his net. Three goals in one minute is very possible. That is true, Chatter. First time Chatter. Nuggets, again, placing those a little bit lower than I think you can get away with. It's not a bad flick. Could maybe have a bit more power. But as long as you keep that mid-height of the net or even lower, Moxie's going to be able to save and end possessions. Nuggets, another flick this time. Cut off early. Moxie, the defensive stand to win the series, and here is the time-wasting he's more than willing to do as he takes this ball into his back corner. Nugget seems like he's half-hearted in his challenge as he knows he's not getting three goals in 10 seconds so moxie has done it he dropped one game there on the finish line but ultimately gets his four size and drops to ggs nugget does as well 4-2 moxie coming out with 120 dollars prize and ending the streak from nugget